Okay, I think we have everything set up. We're gonna go ahead and do the thing. Bam. And here we are in Small Lands of the Wilds. Now, previously, when I did my recording and playthrough, uh, I was originally assuming that we were going to go straight into 1.0 with the playthrough. However, 1.0 got pushed back. Uh, the game is now in full launch, finally. So we're going to kind of get a fresh start, sort of. And I say sort of because we're going to use our old character. But we're going to remove all of the old gear and then start a fresh world. So that way we can go through the storyline once again. See what's changed and regrind up to the point where we were. Once we get to the desert, we'll just go ahead and grab our old gear up and head into uh, what I presume is the final boss of the game. Assuming that they don't add any further content, which I don't see them not. Um, at any rate, this is the character we're going to use right now. We're going to go ahead and drop off all of our gear because we are picking up right where the last episode of Small Lands by the Wilds was. So we're going to go take care of that and then get straight into it. Oh, we're at our base. Well, that's convenient. So let's see here. Um, I guess what we could do... Did I just drop that? I did drop that. Give me that. I don't think there's a transfer at all, but whatever. We'll literally just take everything that's currently in our inventory and drop it off. Hello, Tashi. How the heck are you today? As you can see, the character currently has nothing on its person. We'll go ahead and save real quick and then return to the menu. Finally getting my blood test done. Oh yeah, when are you doing that? Soon I expect. There we go. 1.0 will be the new world. And we'll get started. This is not the new one. It's the same old world. What happened? Do I have to start a new character in order to make a new world? Because we still have, I guess our base and stuff carries over too. That's not what I wanted. Alright, so we're just going to have to create a new character if that's the case. That's a shame. Alright. gonna delete our character make a new character I suppose. Mm, 
You went today, no by tomorrow, I hope. That's good. I mean... Putting off something like that doesn't seem like the best idea. So I'm glad you're finally getting it taken care of. I don't know, those are kind of cool. I don't know. It's fine, I suppose. I don't know, we don't need tattoos. Wasn't my idea. It's your dad's. Uh, well, I don't know. Getting your stuff taken care of is a good thing. So, I don't know. Despite, I'm sure that you're not fond of your father. I would still say that that's not necessarily a bad thing. There. And we'll delete the 1.0. We'll recreate it with the new character. Bam. I want to see how the game starts now. That's my big thing. Oh, same slideshow intro. Oh. Wait, this isn't where you normally start. Okay. Um, hi. Are you injured? All right, is there anything I can do for you? Go to the captain at the burrow. So we have to walk there instead of just appearing there now. All right, that's fine. Where can I find resources? Yada yada yada. Quick tutorial. Grab fibers and stuff. So th there's no tracker for this. Teaching me about hammers and workbenches. Yeah, it's just teaching you all the basic controls rather than finding those owl statues. Now you just sort of talk to people. Foundation with a building hammer. Got it. Okay, buddy. So you don't want me to give you anything? Like, I could make you... I could give you... I have a bandage. Well, at least they start us with a club now, I suppose. That is one dead wasp. Or hornet. Where the heck are we on the map? Oh, we're way down here? Alright, well, that seems like a problem. I guess we should grab resources on our way. Learned how to make a pet whistle. Learned how to make arrows. button was it? No, that's crouch. What was it? No, that's a chat window. Oh, please tell me that's not going to stay up the whole time now on accident. Oh, I hope that fades and goes away. No, there was even a chat. Ah, it's V. Ant 
trophy. Ooh, we're gonna need this to heal. This will give us 30. Yeah, good deal. Good deal, all right. I'm glad they start you near a food source, at least. Come here. Frogs out there, so we definitely don't want that. So, I hate how close the enemies stand to your character. That was one of my gripes during my original review for this game. The creatures stand so close to your character that they actually push you around and can lift you off the ground and you start taking fall damage because you're just floating above the enemy. And what's worse is the, the really big ones. Because of their hitbox being so, like, central to their model, they push their heads into your character. And because they're trying to get closer to you and they can't, they're just sort of lifting you up and shoving you along the ground until, like, they push you off a cliff or they pin you up against a wall. Once you have flight and things like that, and you start picking up speed, perks, and stuff like that, none of that's really an issue. But early on, you can feel that clunkiness from it being a indie game. Like, some of those things... I'm not sure why they haven't been fixed. A little bit of the UI is kind of outdated, too, but... Overall, I have fun with the game, so I can look past a lot of that for the most part. Because this early on in the game is actually pretty good. Late game, I have worse gripes. We'll say that. Because as you're doing the early game, or at least before 1.0, I don't know what they've done to this so far. They had in the ability for you to go and defeat bosses and you learn stuff from doing them. And then later on they changed it to where now you just go and dig up resources for several hours. And then you buy all the blueprints, which I don't like. It doesn't feel like an adventure at that point. It just feels like a grind simulator. So, Small Ants by the Wilds has actually done really, really well on my channel. So I want to try to do a full playthrough. But, I'm going to be completely honest with you. If I get burnt out, I'm going to let you know about it. And... We may not finish it. Um, one of the things I do like about the game is that you can tame creatures. And you eventually get the ability to get creatures that can fly. Which is really cool. Um, unfortunately... Once you leave the original forested area, everything is covered by anti-air turrets. And these anti-air turrets 
kill any of your why would they have you go past bees to get to the starting area that makes no sense uh, these anti-air turrets basically one shot your flying creatures and they're everywhere Meaning, everything that you worked so hard to achieve in the first half of the game, you can no longer use. Like, you just can't. Um, which is kind of frustrating. And I'm kind of hoping that a lot of that has changed. Level up. So, do the attributes work the same? Yeah, we're going to do two strength and constitution, which gives us health. Rude. Get wrecked, mate. I'm out. Can we get through here? Ooh, I hear jumping spiders. Bam. I want to climb a great tree. I must climb one first. Lame. Uh, this one's going to be difficult. But we'll go this way and give it a shot. But, yeah. The original review I did pre-launch actually did like 1,200 views and did really well on the channel. Um, or pre one, uh, yeah, pre early access, and that was great. And I stand by what I had said in that review. However, the game has changed since then, so that information is now outdated. What I'd like to do is go back and do a re review after we either complete this or we can't due to frustrate. Mm. Well, I'm about to die. That's one of the things that I gotta put in the review. <laughs> the, the grapple system for climbing only works like a third of the time. It's one of those things like early, uh, the original arc had the same issue where you just sort of slide off of things rather than like having any kind of grip strength. Your, your character is just like a ball. And any slight surface you just start rolling down it. Wonder, can we get up this? Let's see if we can take a shortcut. No, the list looks way too steep. Yeah. We don't have our wings yet. We ain't getting up there. So how about it, Tashi? I seen you getting to play a little bit more. You managed to get anything accomplished today? Man, 
long walk back. That's a shame. We did the wires, water purifier, yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm gonna be working on is replacing the solar, uh, the, the wind with solar. The, sol uh, the, the wind power seems almost useless. Like, the only time I would use the wind power is if I was going to, like, use it mobily. Just take a little wind turbine out to do little missions. But it almost seems like solar would just do the trick anyway, and then you can put that solar down at your base. Huh. Ain't nobody got time for maintenance. <laughs> You're, you are not wrong. When you get to end game of a video game, you just want things to work. You don't, you don't want to, you're supposed to feel rewarded for getting to the end of the game, not punished. Wind turbines are on my deep vein ores only. And then you have to travel for a long time to repair those, though. Uh, I wouldn't do that. I honestly wouldn't do that. For those of you that want some context, we're talking about Icarus. I stream a ton of that here on the channel. Another one of those indie survival games that the developers are making some odd choices with. That's okay. You know what happens if you get too frustrated with a survival game. You go and play one of the other amazing survival games that have been coming out lately. Like, there's so many good survival games out there right now. It's just a shame if it's one that you really, really like. Having to step away from it because of some bad choices is really sad. But, in my opinion, life is short. It's not worth stressing over a video game. When you can find other things to do that would keep you not stressed. There's too many other things in life that cause stress. And we're here to have fun and forget about life. Bam. Claim the great tree. We did it. Yes! Uh, choice is like, you could. Huh. 
hippos. Ugh. I guarantee those are going to be an aggressive creature. <laughs> uh, at any rate, we made it to our first tree. So now we can go ahead and... I don't know why these didn't automatically stack. That was odd. Uh, we can start building out a base. Right now we're just going to make a one by one cube and put a bed in it. Because we want to be able to sleep and all that stuff. Or, well, death. You know. You know how that works. Especially if a storm comes. We are just going to straight die. And I don't want that. So let's see. Crafting. Can we make a hammer yet? We have a hatchet. We have a hammer. We have a torch. So, and hammer, we'll put the torch over there, actually, no, over here. Hey, we learned a campfire, we learned a bed, we learned a storage chest, we learned that workbench. So, let's see. Bam. And then foundation. Line it up with that. Bam. Good enough. I'm just going to make a storm shelter just in case things hit the fan. That's a floor. Leaf roof. That's what we need. Bam. Foundations. Decorations. Do we not know how to make a door yet? Okay. That, that might end up being a problem at some point. Door. There we go. Bam. Which way does that open? Out. Perfect. Okay. And then... We want a bed. Slam. One storage chest. Fireplace to cook. Something to build. And then, while we're out at this other place, we'll try to get screws and a bottle cap. We need one cutting tool. We have our blunt, we have our cutting, we need a piercing. All that's available is arrows, but I'm not wasting my time with those. Um, mandible pickaxe. So we need to get one of the bull ants. Um, oh, I didn't hear about the gorilla. I did not hear about the gorilla there, Tashi. That's uh, rather scary. I wonder if these are things that are going to be introduced into the original maps for Icarus. Or if they're just something that... Of 
Upgrade, dismantle, repairs. Good. Or if those animals are just going to be something that's in the new map. We'll keep food with us. We can eat these. Oh, wait. Can't we cook ant heads? Let's see. Ant skiers. Oh, you get... Oh, it used to be several heads you needed to make skewers. It's just one? Okay. Good. We got some ant skewers. Perfect. We got some food. That means we don't need to cook those. Or have these. We're going to need that for other recipes later. Perfect. We are not ready to go yet. I want that fiber back because I think we can make more bandages with that. And then we can grab basic resources while we're out. Bam. Getting a nice quick start here. Most of them are in the new map. All right. Well, looking forward to seeing all these creatures in the game. Tell you what, all those new creatures are going to add a lot of chaos, I think. Music's on five. I guess it's just really low right now. Just to be safe, let's go ahead and save. Um, where are we headed? We are headed north. Seven new ones and companions. We we did discuss the companions. I still say I want a wolf. Oh. Stop walking, grasshopper. Oh, come on. I don't think I'm strong enough to block this grasshopper. Grasshopper's got too much. Ooh, the club can block him. Okay, good. Well, that time it was just me messing. I'm gonna die. Ha! 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 Got him. There we go. Grasshopper thing. Heal yourself. We need to get each of these new recipes. Bam! Come here, ladybug. Man, these things take a lot. Why am I doing so little damage? All right. We need to get out of this wood phase as quick as possible. Seven new ones. Yeah, I think... Isn't, like, the kiwi one of them that they're adding? I know that one. I didn't see what other ones they were adding. Tell me about the tree encampments. Tell me about the lady. Would you craft me some gear? We gotta go and collect. Which one do we want? The lightweight one will allow us to move faster, but doesn't have as much protection, I thought. Um, this one... Has cold protection. We're just going to take the cold protection one, because we're going to need it. 
So they both have the same protection. This one just has movement speed. But it won't protect us from the cold. So if it gets to be winter, we're going to be in trouble. Um, so we're going to end up needing these anyway. So let's go grab up a bunch of fiber for these. And we need to speak to the elder. And then we can reset our levels. Is this place blocked off now? Oh, we can still go in here? Cool. This place is basically unutilized space now. Like, there's no, unless they added something to the back end of this, there's almost no reason to come in here now. I mean, I guess resources. I kind of like the other other place. If they wanted to add that little extra piece in there, like your first mission could have been, oh, go help this person, and then I'll teach you how to make this new armor. Like, if they wanted to do that, that would have been fine. This seems a little bit backwards. Why take this magical starting area out? What a waste. I'm sure there's some people that are never even going to see this section of the map. Because they won't bother looking because there's no reason to actually go in here. That's a real shame. Oh well. I'm not designing the game. I'm just playing in it. I don't want to talk to you, buddy. I just want your berries. Get them's my berries now. I'm gonna eat all the berries. Mm -hmm. Grab the logs. Must have all the debris. Yes. I'm not sure if I was going to be able to reach that, but we got it. Now, we're going to grab all the stuff on the way down to the river here. There is that owl statue that we could go interact with, get some food from. And we'll gather up all the basic resources along the way. 
Um, but not only that, alongside the river should be your first bottle cap and the bolt that you're going to need. Uh, oh, for building your workbench, I guess I should have said. But yeah, um, for anybody that's interested, we have a lot of games coming up down the road here. Um, and so if you're interested in survival games in general, there's a lot of things that we're going to be doing here soon. Ooh, more attribute points. We'll do strength. We'll do one constitution. One stamina. And one... Increase speed. Let's grab the bolt. It should, yeah, here it is. Bolt, bolt. Should be a bottle cap around here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. Bam. We can make the workbench on the way back. Or when we get back, rather. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and ignore that. Let me alone, Ant. How are we doing on basic resources? We got a little over two stacks, almost three stacks. Yeah, okay. We're doing good on the basics. I like that. Won't let me grab those for some reason. I guess you can't grab in mid-jump. That's the problem, huh? Here we go. We got some food. Uh-oh. I hope this doesn't turn into a large storm. Or we did. Seems like it's just going to be a small storm, so good. Let's see. Hungry and thirsty. Bam.
means the animal spotted food. So, they talked about revamping the way that... Um, revamping the way that you tame creatures in that game. I wonder if the food spotting is going to end up being a taming method for creatures. Where you have to sit there and drop food on the ground and hope that the creature runs over and eats it. Personally, I would like a more in-depth taming system. I just hope that they don't make it an annoying frustration to, to want to interact with. At, on the same token, your having creatures that can level up and get stronger and grow with you uh, allowing you opportunities to get attached to certain creatures wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing. Like, right now, in that game, I, like, if I take a MOA and run it off a cliff and accidentally kill it, it's like, meh, I'll just go get another one. Like, because none of them are unique, none of them have specific stats that you're looking for. Like, you can't do much with them. Heck, the Moas can't even attack. Like, even though they'll gladly beat you up if they if given the opportunity. Here's that bull ant. I want my pickaxe, so we need to fight this. Come here. are mendable and then if we go to here and we chop this down we can learn the seed oil and stuff there's our seeds oh we didn't get the nectar and stuff rip all right well we learned a couple new things let's go talk to the elder pass up any basic resources now. Might as well take the bottle cap. And end up using those for other things down the road anyway. And gathering them is a pain in the butt, so having them now means we don't need them later.
hatchet's about to break. Rip. Alright, Elder. What you got for me? Anything new? Anything we can steal out of your place? No? How about back here? Yeah, see? This plant fiber, that's mine now. Some wood. Yeah, I'm taking all this. And you're not gonna do nothing. It's mine now. But no, seriously, what you got for me? Yada yada yada, clover key. Who is the whatever? What's in the chest? Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Can't force it open. Talk to the person about the hornet attack. Troubling reports from the overworld settlers of force. Um. Seek out the settlers, investigate their claims. Okay, so it's just a new way to state that there's issues going on. Got it. So, literally nothing new. Moving on. Literally nothing new. New armor. Bam. There. You can have my old armor, buddy. We're out. Let's head back to base. And the good part about having this balloon out the way, we can just travel up top anytime I want. mushrooms, some more skewers. Good. We got some food now. Repair everything. Back to crafting. 
We got our pickaxe, which means we can go get stone now. Let's get our bandages out the way. Anything that's not a building material we'll put away for right now. There we go. I guess we could sleep until daytime. Take me down, buddy. So, we can unmark this person. We need to make our way to Calv to learn the new armor. And we'll get a bunch of stone and stuff from over there. Let's see, does it show us, if we go here to the codec, let's see, the grinder would teach us the new tools, yeah, we can't see his stuff till we go talk to him, so, and once we can, once we talk to him, we'll be able to build it back at base. Why can't I stand up? Stand, stand up. There we go. Jump, jump, jump! What's wrong with you? You ran away. Calvin, is this way? Go. Come get me, you ants. Water equals death. Yada, yada, yada. I get it. Grab up that stone. Bam. Give me that. I don't feel like I'm getting a lot of stone out of these. Two per? I feel like we used to get more. They didn't increase the grind, did they? Jeez. There's three. Maybe it's just random. Or maybe the size of the stone matters. I'm not entirely sure. Just a little ways north, and a lot of stone, and we should be able to make our armor. Heck, with everything we have on us, we might be able to just make it while we're there. 
I know it takes a lot of sap, but we have a good bit on us. So, we'll see. And if we see any poppies, we should grab those, too. Because that'll teach us all kinds of stuff. Hi! What, what, what is that animation? Okay, I'm out. I don't, I, I've never seen it do that animation before. What the heck was that? Yeah, they changed up the animation for these things. I need a spear. They also seem to have made it slower, which is good. Animations are very inconsistent. So, um, oh, let's see what's going on. Like, you have to start blocking as it's going up in the air, not just before it hits you, which is dumb. The second the thing twitches is when you're actually supposed to hit it. I hate that. I need stamina, please. Yeah, finally. Okay, we learned sausage. Did we get any chitin from that? Because we're gonna need some for what we have and have planned. Oh, I did not mean to take that off my bar. Put that back on the bar. Um, eat some of that. Okay, we're good to go. We also got another level, so attributes. We're going to take more health and speed this time. The early game takes some um, getting used to. And even though the last episode of the previous playthrough just released, I haven't played this game since December. <laughs> like, it's been months. It's a bit of a relearning curve. I'm going to go with ouch on that one. Beetle bugs down there squawking. Don't mind me, beetle bugs. I don't want any. I'm just going this way. No, we're stuck in the mushrooms. Here's some garlic. I don't think we can get the garlic with our current axe. But I suppose we could try. Nope, need a better axe. I 
There's strawberries, but we're not messing with those bees. Matter of fact, our weapons are starting to break, so we're just going to try to outrun things if we can. At least for a little bit. Our biggest detriment right now is a good portion of the enemies that we're supposed to be fighting take the spear to fight. There we go. Can you make it for me? This, this. What am I missing? I need more stone to make the other two. Bam. Let's get it. And then once we have all of our stone gear, we'll head to the next NPC, put up a base near there, which will allow us to start gathering flint easily. And then once we have our flint weapons, we'll be able to fight the boss. This person literally tells me nothing new except where I can go get a glider. So we would have to go talk to the person that does the bees. Body piece. We need six more stone to make the next one. And then we're going to need some more to make the grinder. So we might as well just gather up a bunch of stone, at least till our pickaxe breaks. Getting a little bit of XP for mining, which is nice. Still wish there was an option to turn off the screen shake. It's so, like, it's so intrusive in this. Like, you can't even jump without the screen wiggling.
Um, unless you have like motion sickness issues, most people can just get used to it and ignore it. Assuming that they like the gameplay to begin with. Go make that last piece and then go get some more stone. I guess we can just grab stone on the way back to base, because that's where we's headed. Um we just need the legs. Very nice. We are geared. Character has been saved. Good deal. Ooh, what is this? Somebody killed a ladybug. We got some healing patches. We need honey for that. Crap, you didn't aggro, did you? Arg. Everything wants to kill me! Okay, where are we? You know what? We could just make our way down here. There should be another house that we can claim. Is it this one? Is this the closest one? This might be the closest one. I thought there was a closer one though. Let's not, buddy. Don't you do it! I won't regret it! Ah! <laughs> I guess I'm gonna regret it! Stop it! Run away! Must get save point! Or respawn point! Before we get dead pointed! Grasshopper, protect me! Huh. Huh. Uh, yeah! Okay, I wasn't sure if we could reach that. event has begun. I'm not quite sure what that is, but we will try to find out in a moment.
there's an event over that way. Okay. So, that way. Oh. Okay. We can go check that out. Uh, supposedly, I think I know what they are, actually. Didn't they say they spawn every 30 minutes? Something like that. Like, that's... It's been an hour since we've been playing, so... Clearly, that's not the case. And you need to clear out these events to get, like, bonuses from working with the traders. At least if I'm thinking of the proper thing. Codex. I don't know. None of these NPCs seem to be telling me anything about that. So, I don't know. Maybe I gotta do something to unlock that? I, I, I don't know. We, we can try to participate in an event and see if it does anything for us. We're gonna need more storage. We're gonna need more. Yeah, we're gonna need a lot more of more of more of more of more. All the mores. Let's start with this and that. Oh, did we put those away? Bottle caps and screws. Let's see. Yep, yep. We need refined wood, which is going to take seed oil, which we have seeds. We have two seeds. We need more seeds. How many seeds would we need to make? How many refined wood do we need? We need four, which is going to take four oil. So we need four seeds. We need flint, stone. We need eight. We need at least eight. So, we can go work on that momentarily. But yeah, we have a few other things to do. Whoops. So, that was the wrong button, uh, by the way. Stone. We need bark for that. We need refined wood. Yeah, we need a few things. Yeah, we need a few things. Bam. Okay. Uh, let's eat a little so we don't dare. And then I am going to run to the restroom. So give me just a moment. I do appreciate you all hanging out.
Okay, let's get back into it, shall we? So, we are ready to begin the process of building a house here. Because, yeah, we want to get this stuff off the ground, obviously. Um, I think we're just going to build a long house for now. We don't really have very many parts, so we just going to build the basics. Let's do five. Five, let's see. Five by eleven. Let's just do that. That way we have odd numbers and we can center the door and whatnot. Nice basic rectangular home until we have better building pieces and then we'll try to build something more fancy later. We just need to be able get to the new regions and stay sheltered and be able to put down some resources let's see can we move repair dismantle not sheltered yada 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 I know um, I don't think we can move things. I don't, I guess they didn't add that. But we get all the resources back anyway, so we'll just rebuild these. Bam, bam, 
Bam. Walls. Ooh, let's put in the door first. Bam, door. We want that one there. Windows. Yeah, that's what I thought. This backwards. Nice and easy. Simple rectangular structure until we have what we need. The good thing about building up on these tree structures is you only have to ever build one base. So you can make something look really awesome. And every time you claim a great tree, your entire base moves to the new location, which is really awesome. Now, I know one of these has like a bottle cat uh, a bottleneck in it, one of these roofs. Ah, these ones. So like that, and then we can put the fire underneath that one. Not that. This. Oh, we're out of material. Alright, well, we'll have to get more. We'll have to go and get more. In the meantime, we can set our benches back down. Oh, unless we used all the resources for that. Rip. On fire. A fire on a grass floor. That seems super unhealthy for... For, uh... Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna catch on fire. It's gonna catch on fire. Um... Rip. Yeah, let's go get more resources. Time to go get some grass and all that fun stuff. Is that a vent still there? We need to not mark you anymore. Oh, so wait. Where is this event? That way. Where is the other NPC we're heading towards? Oh, straight in front of us. Perfect. Let's see. There is another great tree straight south from here. So why don't we grab up as many resources as we can and then we'll claim that other great tree over there. Actually, if we go talk to the bee guard person, we might be able to claim... You know what? I want, I want the spear before we go deal with bees. So, we're just going to have to deal with taking the balloon. And then, that way, once we get there, we can set up a thing closer to this event. All those fun things. Bam. Let's go, buddy. Excellent. Hungry and thirsty? Fake. Sounds fake. I don't believe you. Bam. Bam. Eat one of those as well. Because why not? 
Okay. towards that tree over there. How close is this event? Oh, so we'll hit the tree first, yeah. And I guess we could go see what this event's all about. We should try to chop up some of these poppies to learn new resources as well. New crafting recipes and all that. Shoo, go away. You're gonna make it extremely difficult to gather up resources. Come on. Wow, rude. You'd think the first time you get your face cut, you'd run away. But no! Instead, we have to go full chop chop on you. It's just not very bright, buddy. Okay, let's see. Uh, eight. We're gonna grab that. Poppies. There we go. We need a total of eight seeds. And that nectar and stuff will come in handy for making like healing brews and whatnot later on. The flowers I think are used for something good too. I think that the, the petals also might be used in that same recipe. I knew you were gonna aggro me. You have too much health. Knock it off. Stop being so healthy. Get out of here with that mess. Wow. Now I'm poisoned. Rude. Stamina, knock it off. Haha! <laughs> Get wrecked, mate. Poisoned mace. Yes, that's something I want to make. Because it will replace two items. Crafting. Uh, Codex. Let's see, what do we need to make that? What the heck is this? Wow, that is extremely broke. What is this? Showing two different... What? Whatever. Why are there question marks on these? We already know how to make those. We just made those. Whatever. Um, wow, that's broke. Look, it's doing it here, too. How am I supposed to... Oh, I hope it's not broken. The... Look! All right, whatever. Hopefully it's not broken in the bench. Where is it? I guess I need a different bench. Oh, no, it's listed here. We need five poison sacks, so we'd have to kill five of those things. I hope this is going to be a regular storm and not a big storm. Because we might be in trouble if it's not. Let's 
kind of crazy though. Seems like 1.0 added extra bugs. And, and not the kind you can tame. They're not bugs, they're features. I don't believe you. I just don't. We have to try to figure out how to get over there. Looks like there's a way across right here. Don't do that. Stop what you're doing! <laughs> get wrecked, bees! Stop! I said wrecked, not chased! Don't kill your face! what I thought. Come on. Let's claim this tree in case we die. And then these poppies will give us more fiber, but not really much. Need a ton of fiber. Bam. Okay. Back to trying to get fiber. Bam. So many beetle bugs around here. I just don't want to be messing with beetle bugs, okay? Should be honey and stuff around here, too. Yeah, here we go. We, we're going to need honey to make bandages. So we'll get a bunch of these crumbles and we'll have better bandages. Music seems low. I like the music. I can turn it up a bit. It's one thing that I think a lot of devs overlook. A good soundtrack in a game can really make or break the title. Like, it provides a lot of the atmosphere. And they did okay with this, this soundtrack in this. It's definitely... Like, there's some soundtracks that you just... You, you, you could turn on in the background while you're doing some work or you're doing other things around the house. 
and just jam out to and absolutely enjoy. And then there's other ones that just fit the mood of what you're doing. There's others that are just sort of, you know, meh and serviceable. And then there's ones that you just absolutely hate. Or in the case of Return to Moria, the ones that are essentially non-existent. I liked Return to Moria's gameplay, but the audio in that game is terrible. We're gonna do some strength, and we're gonna do some stamina, and dexterity? No, constitution. Here we go. Let me alone, I'm just looking for fiber. Stop it! Well, don't fall down there, obviously. Hup. Oof. Oh, I don't think I can get up there. Whoops, I think we're going all the way around. Whee! You're really not gonna let me climb this? Okay, good. Jeez. We'll go ahead and cut down this rye. Should give us some fiber as well. Alright, let's go see how much more we can get accomplished. That's not technically what I meant to do, but it doesn't really hurt anything. Oh, I guess that event disappeared. So it only sticks around for like a game day. Fair enough.
Okay, bench. Go ahead and repairs. We needed eight of this. We can make candles now? I don't think that was in the game before. Apothecary table in your car. Sounds good to me. We'll have to do some of these things. Um, yeah, we're going to need a few things to do that, though. Um, and then we need to turn these oils into that. Refined wood, which should allow us to make... The stone spear and the hammer, but I want to see mushroom chair, mushroom table. Oh, and a recurve bow. Neat. Wanted to see if we could make this thing. Oh, it's gonna be a while till we can make that. All right, so yeah, we'll make the. The stone spear for the time being and the stone hammer which will replace our club and we don't need the club anymore So we'll go ahead and toss that on the ground. Um, if we, now that we have the spear, we'll go kill a couple of the beetles and we can get the upgraded axe. Grasshopper leg and refined wood. If we could get more refined wood, we can make the sickle, which is pretty cool. Or scythe, rather. Three to five edged damage. Three to four edged damage. So this... Just the refined wood. So, another upgrade. Perfect. I like it. Really like the animations for this weapon. Okay, and then from there, let's go ahead and see how many roofs uh, we can put on here. You know. Just making a very basic structure. That is it. Oh, wait. Wait. 
We need to make the other shape. What was that noise? Anyway, now that I'm thinking about it, we do need to make a different shape only because we want to be able to jump up onto the roof. If we make this shape, we can jump up onto the roof. But there, our benches are sheltered. Out of materials. That's fine. We'll get some more. But we're now ready to go face some beetle bugs. What does it take to make another storage box? We'll save these only because once it hits winter time, we'll need those for the extra warmth until we can get some better gear, unless we can manage to get better gear before then. At any rate, we are ready to continue here. Let's go hunt some beetle bugs. That will give us the upgraded axe, and then we can start getting things like the garlic and stuff like that. With this, we should be able to defend ourselves from bees, too. Oi! Beetle! Cover! Come here, you! Yeah. Oh, that's right. Change your animations. Ow. Ah, oh, gotta work out your new animations. I don't... There's two. We have one up top. We need a total of five. It's too bad grasshoppers don't give chitin. Need at least one to two more beetle bugs. Oh, 
Ay. Don't, don't. Ugh, that's a runaway. Sawyer Beetle was creeping up on us. That'd have been death if we hadn't left. Yeah, I see you. You ruined this whole thing. Come here, Sawyer Beetle. Consistent. Die. All right, we're gonna need one more Sawyer Beetle. I almost feel like the animations got worse on the Beatles. The little jump thing is okay. But their little quick chomp thing is kind of... kind of dumb. See what I mean about the Beatles, though? They push inside your character so you can't move. Ugh. Okay, we got what we needed. Let's go build that axe. And then... Oh, world event has begun. Where? Up here. Okay. We'll build that axe and then work our way up there. That's actually up near where we could learn the wings. So I guess we'll learn those while we're up there. So I feel like it's going to be important for us to get these world events in.
Okay. Great tree, please. Chop, chop, chop. here we need the wood and the resin and then the rest of the stuff is gonna require flint Bam. Better axe. Go ahead and get rid of the old axe. We need a stone to fix the spear. We don't have a stone. All right, we'll grab some stones while we're out too. Stones, fiber, and head towards that event. And maybe hit the person that would teach us wings while we're at it. Ant. Oh wait, we actually have to go this way. No! Grab this. Hedge garlic. You learned how to make an omelet. And pudding. Run away! We'll get strawberries somewhere else. No!
Nice. You know what I'm noticing? I'm not getting wings off of these things. Usually you get wings off the the bees. It seems like they made the grind more grindy. <laughs> like... Is it just me? Like, the, 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 the resources themselves aren't dropping as much. And the creatures that used to drop things aren't dropping them. I, I, I don't... I don't get it. We needed stone to repair things. Let's grab that. Good. Now. Now let's move. Come on. I know you can get up there. Hey, we done did it. Oh, wait. We killed those things, so we should be able to get these strawberries now. There we go. Forest Delight. Also, another thing I'm curious about. Like, Small Lands, I thought, used to have a Discord. Didn't, did, did they not have a Discord anymore? Did they, did they get rid of the Discord? Like, I was trying today because I wanted, I, I was looking on Discord to see so I could post uh, my stream on there for people to come watch and it didn't look like I could find one and I looked on Steam and it wasn't listed anymore. Did they never have a Discord, or did did it get deleted, or hacked, or something? Because, like, yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. I've heard some horror stories about some other games. Where, like, the devs didn't want to hear people's criticisms, and they're like, Oh, forget it, we're just going to delete the Discord, because we don't want to hear hear what people have to say which is an odd which is an odd stance for a company that relies on people purchasing their stuff in order to you know make a profit to just shut down and not not accept any information from people that are giving you money is kind of a weird I'm not saying that's what happened with this I just it just seems odd that there, there's no Discord for it. Because when I first got the game so I could do an early access review for it, I know it was in there because I was posting and talking to people. And there's just not one now. Uh. Leave me alone! I did nothing to you, good sir. And I know you are sir, because all ants are sirs. Except for the queen, go away. Can we survive this? Huh? Uh. Yeah. Hop down here. <gasps> well. Swim! Swim! Dear God, swim! Oh my God. <laughs> so. Oh. Ah! Oh, no! I'm in a box! Of my own making. Uh. Yeah. Whoops. Go ahead and eat a little bit of food here real quick. Mmm, food. Alright, let's go. The water is annoying. In this game, yes. 
Like that's one of the things I had big criticisms about with with uh, call a hot air balloon. Um Uh, the the fact that you can't swim is 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 kind of so the way they explained it um, is tiny little creatures that get stuck in water usually die like because bugs aren't strong enough to break the water tension to free themselves from water and because you're the size of a bug. You're going to get trapped under the water and just die. So that's just... That's the way they explained it. Honestly, the water is realistic. And... And so... Now, other games have done that too, where they use water rather than using it as a resource or... A means to get from place to place. They use it as a as an invisible wall. Because if you go into the water, you just die. I mean, I guess that's one way to do it. Like, in New World... They explained away the fact that you can't swim in that game... Damn, what was that? What was what? They explained away the fact that you can't swim um, by saying, oh, well, only things that have souls are buoyant enough to stay afloat. And because you're essentially a resurrected corpse in that game, you don't get the opportunity to actually swim. Because... Oh, uh, yeah, it's... So... Sorry, trying to run for my life right now. Um, because I was forced to send back the tech for my PC. I'm not able to maintain the same performance I would have. Serious. Come here. And I unfortunately haven't rolled back to the previous uh, bit rate that I was at before. I thought my stream could handle the higher bit rate. It apparently can't. So I'm going to have to roll that back. All right, well, all right. We're going to have to try something. We're going to have to hit the unstuck button after we grab our equipment, but now we have to wait until daytime. Because apparently where I jumped down, there's no way across from there. I guess I could always try jumping across the river, but we're going to wait. So yeah, for the next stream, we're going to have to turn down the bitrate. Like, it's frustrating. It's very, it's a very frustrating situation there, Tashi. <laughs> I want my stream to look as good as possible, but this stuff, this keeps happening. It's either that or the internet's just being junk. Maybe I need to reset my router. Well, they damaged it. I mean, it was damaged. That the, the tech that came in was damaged during shipping. Like it wasn't their fault. 
and the company technically is under no obligation to replace the parts. So, like, the fact that they're willing to replace it, I, I am completely okay with. I mean, like, I don't know how it is everywhere else, but here in the United States, a company will go out of their way to make sure that they say anything is your fault so that way they don't have to pay. <laughs> um, there's very few companies out there that are like, okay, we'll go ahead and, and replace it just because. So, I am thankful for that at the very least. That's good though, yeah. And we'll sleep just to make it daytime. There we go. It just dies randomly. Mine does too. Like I'll be sitting there and then all of a sudden my computer gets that little globe symbol on it stating that there is no internet connection. It's like, um, <laughs> lies and shenanigans? Uh, from what I'm told, that's, uh, that's a graphics card issue. My stream, not the, not the internet disconnecting thing. Uh, cause I use my, uh, graphics card to encode the stream, so... I'm hoping that this tech will take pressure off of it and let me stream at a better rate. Uh, I just, it, it just sucks whenever you get things in the mail and they're like damaged for any reason. I don't know. The whole situation's been frustrating, but compared to some of the other stuff going on with like the wife being sick and, and friends having a hard time and like just life in general being junk, like that's a minor stress happen to return a product to have it replaced or fixed like that that's a minor thing things could be worse Come on, bees. Can we not? I just want to get from point A to point B without the harassment. Good. So we'll jump down, grab our stuff, and then do the do the unstuck thing, and hopefully. Hopefully that will get us back up on the dry land. Beetle. Unstuck kills you? I guess I should learn to read. Okay, so we're going to try this then.
Or we'll just have to leave that bag there until we go get wings. Which would be extraordinarily frustrating. Alright, so did it move my bag? It did not. footsteps and everything were so when I went to play a couple games recently that required a better hard drive um, that's when I noticed like lagging sounds and footsteps and stuff like that and computers restarting and things like that sometimes are either a power supply issue or a hard drive issue So, given the audio, I, I I would think that it's it's probably your hard drive that might be going. I don't know. I'm not a computer expert, though, so don't take my opinion for it. Maybe get it checked by somebody that's uh, a little bit more knowledgeable. Leave me alone, beetle bug. And managed to fix it yourself. Very nice. Yeah, that seems to be the number one answer whenever dealing with computer anything. Unplug it and plug it back in. And see if it works. It's usually the first thing any tech person will tell you. Drivers, heating issues, unplugging it. I really hope that you don't start having consistent issues because... I know that you're working with some really old tech in your computer. You said something like a 1060 or a 1080 or something like that. Upgrading to that newest tech is expensive. But not only that, if you have a 1080 in your system, 1050? Ooh, even worse. Um, the motherboard that you're running on probably won't work with the newest hard uh, graphics cards. So if you want to replace your graphics card, you're going to replace your whole motherboard. Which is going to be a large pain. We're going to try this yet again, even though I'm sure it's not smart to do so. Take all. I wonder if we can get close enough to the other side of the river to just swim out of there. Oh, yes! <laughs> oh, I should have done that the first time. Really, really should have done that the first time. 
<laughs> I defeat you, game. <laughs> Butterfly! Come here! Aw. Can't reach him. I never hunt butterflies anyway. I really should kill at least one to see if they added any new resources to them. Uh, well, I don't see any new... Uh, I guess that event ended, which isn't surprising. Whatever, we'll go get our wings. And then we'll get to the beach and start gathering that stuff. Because getting across the map without our wings is about a pain. So, this way. bright side we have a ton of fiber now so we could add on to our base because this area has a ton of fiber I won't I have to replace everything yeah rely on anybody to help me with computer problems fixing myself. It's probably the best way to do it. It's cheaper too. And a lot of hardware nowadays is like plug and play. When I was going to high school, they gave you the opportunity to take what was called a Votech class. Um, which you could go and do some early learning in a career field. Um, there was like cooking classes if you wanted to take culinary stuff when you got out of school. There was like um, construction places where you could go take like additional shop classes and if you were going to go try to do into the construction field or you just wanted to know basic home repair stuff for the future. There was the ability to take driving classes. Um, and you would only have to pay for the class if you completed it successfully. Um, and I ended up taking a computer technology or a computer science uh, class which you basically learn to put together computers and very, 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 very basic coding on top of being able to... Oof, please don't fall. Um, how to install programs and stuff like that. But we're talking about years and years ago with like Windows 3.1 or something crazy like that. And all of the computer tech back then wasn't as, like, dummy-proof as it is now. Like, if you took a power cord and plugged it into your computer, there was a right and wrong way to plug that sucker in. If you plugged it in wrong, you were literally burning your house down because it would light the whole computer on fire. Like, and computers were massive and couldn't... It, didn't even have a gig's worth of freaking space in them. So, like, yeah. <laughs> Nowadays, though, you, you, they have these special little tabs on every piece of tech inside your computer that prevent you from putting it in wrong. Like, you literally can't plug it in wrong. You just can't. Because it won't allow you. You would really have to force it and probably break half the things in the computer to plug it in wrong. Huh. 
the first computer was the size of a room. Yeah, I was actually watching something recently, a documentary about computers. Like, it took... It took like five or six people just to install one hard drive that only hold, held like five megabits of, of data on it. Like, I insane how far tech has come. You can hold two terabytes worth of information in a tiny little, like, SIM card for your phone. Like, things are insane now. I have a little thumb drive hooked up to my computer right now for storing, like, thumbnails and, like, stuff like that. And it holds two terabytes worth of information. And it's just hooked into a little little USB. Like, computers have come so far. Okay, let's quickly use up some of this fiber. need corner pieces. Is it this? No. Is it this? I think that's it. Love learning them. Yeah. Tech is fun. Any kind of tech. When I was younger, like nine, which I don't know why you would allow a nine year old with no knowledge do something like this, um, I used to take apart the VCR that was in my room. And put it back together just for fun. Like, and I've electrocuted myself so many times doing it. <laughs> I wouldn't suggest anybody do this. Like, don't take apart your tech in your house. Plus, you're just going to void the warranty on all of your stuff and not be able to replace it when something goes wrong. Unless you're, uh... Yeah... I learned the hard way that you don't use a butter knife to touch two transistors together. It, uh, even when it, the uh, VCR is unplugged from the wall, it still holds a charge. <laughs> um, I used to... I took an old, old, old like cassette tape uh, player and took off the front case of it so that way I could get at the speakers inside because if you frayed the wires for that speaker and took the plastic off of it you were then able to hook other speakers up to it and like have the audio running to multiple speakers uh, throughout your room and this was such a dumb thing to do. I don't suggest anybody do this. I don't know why, as a kid, I thought this was a good idea. Because <laughs> I electrocuted myself doing that, too. Because you have to unplug the thing before you go stripping wires. Like, I don't know how I survived my childhood. I really don't. Have a proper hi-fi. Yeah, my, uh, my, uh, mother was quite unhappy whenever I plugged that sucker in after having all of that, uh, after putting four extra speakers on a tiny itty-bitty <laughs> cassette player. 
There we go, we're enclosed. Yay! We'll do some inventory management another time. For the time being, we're just, we're just gonna do this. Okay, there's nothing else we can do here, so let's head to the B place. It worked, so why not? Yeah, yeah, it did. Worked just fine. Like, Sometimes you just got to learn from experience. And I was able to figure out how those things worked and get them to do what I wanted them to do. And like my mother and father broke up like when I was four. So like never had a father in my life to teach me things. And because of that, like nobody taught me how to weld or to sandpaper anything or how to put this together or how to build that or how to do those little DIY projects that will make your life easier or to fix a cabinet or repair a car. None of those things that like kids typically get taught by their father figure or... I guess nowadays, whoever, whoever that their parent is, um, in my case, it would be a father figure. Um, but I, I, and my mother didn't know how to do any of these things. Like she always had somebody to take care of her and she was jumping between boyfriend to boyfriend to boyfriend. And needless to say, the boyfriend didn't care about the child. So, like, I had to figure things out for myself. And I try to teach that stuff to my kids. They don't always listen, but hopefully they retain some of that stuff for when they're uh, kicked out on the curb for being 18 and, do, and have to learn and have to fend for themselves. Time to, time to leave the nest, kid. Get, 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 you, get you a job and an apartment. No, I'm not. That's it's actually a joke. I want to just kick him out. I gotta get them. Gotta get them a job first and get them comfortable so that way they can fend for themselves. This isn't a baby bird situation. Although, I won't have to. We'll have to cross other bridges when we get to them, for the time being, though. I want to see my kids succeed. Ooh, this jumping spider just took out a bee. I'll take that. accidentally hit the spider. It was an accident, spider. I promise. Leave me alone.
GPRS phone. Yeah. I never got that in depth with my stuff. I was always just happy to have my Final Fantasy games to just sit there and veg out to because, like, <sighs> did not have the, uh, did not have the greatest childhood. So we need 12 wings. Oh, we learned butterfly wings too? Let's go. You learned a lot of different types of wings. They added new types of wings, I guess. We should heal up before we do anything else. No, they're coming in! Aha, I got wing. Shut your face. Eat 12 wings and 12 chitin. It was a flip phone. Yeah, like, even when I was younger and phones were a thing, like, I didn't, I, I just don't like phones. I don't use the the smartphones for anything other than a phone. <laughs> like it's a phone. <laughs> like why would I use it for anything else? I'm also an introvert, so I don't really go anywhere, so I don't need it for any of those things for entertainment purposes. So like <sighs> I really want that thing to come down lower so I can stab a lightning bug. So we can learn that new recipe. why I love them. Yeah. I mean, I have nothing against people enjoying what they like. You know me. I don't... I don't discriminate in that way. Do what you like, but it's, it's just not for me. But yeah, now that we've learned the wings, we can make our way to a tree. Now, this is actually a tree here. Don't you do it. Don't you do it, beetle. Wow. Oh, the beetle bugs give you wings.
need this honey to make healing items, so we're going to take some of that while we have the opportunity. But we could really use some chitin. If there's some wasps around, we could try to take those out. But I should really repair my spear. Painting by numbers. Whatever works. What happened there? It's the boss! Run away! Oh my god, she heals so fast. I'm out. I'm out! I didn't mean to aggro you, queen. Leave me alone! Oh, thank God it left. She heals so fast. Why was she healing so fast? Nothing to you, and you still try to kill me. It's not fair. It's not fair at all. I am going the wrong way to get to safety. This is not safety. This is this is the opposite of safety. Come on now. Wow! Stop it. Ow! Use the chitin anyway. Let's go to this tree over meow. Better go on, B. in the strawberry orchard. Perfect. Grab up some strawberries on the way home.
trees aren't turning brown yet, so that's good. We're doing pretty good here. At any rate, we're probably going to call it because it is that time. So, why don't... Dying without an electric blanket. My, uh, my wife is the same way. But they have this, uh, um, the electric blanket that she, she had wasn't warm enough. So we ended up getting her this pillow that is like full of a special type of rice or something like that, that you can put in the microwave and... actually warms it up just enough to like you can drape it because it's so heavy you drape it over like your shoulders if you like you have sore if you have any kind of like sore muscles or anything like that buckwheat yeah maybe that's what it is but she has one of those and she absolutely loves the thing um she does, um, her, she, she works from home and she does, uh, telecommuting over the computer to work. And because of that, she's sitting at her desk a lot. So her shoulders get sore or her wrists get sore and she can just hang these things on her shoulders and stuff. And they seem to relieve a lot of the issues. But because they're so warm, whenever she gets really cold in the winter, we always go and heat one of those up for her. For the migraines? Yeah, I could see that working. She also likes to lay on it whenever that it's that time of month, if you know what I mean. It's just one of those naturally bod occurring bodily functions that uh, you have to deal with. Did I call the blimp? Call the balloon. But, yeah, we we have a few things for her as well. Um, I hope you manage to get one before it gets too warm. One of the things that before we managed to get her a new heating blanket, you could do is just throw a blanket into the dryer for a minute or two and take it out. Depending on how big your dryer is, I suppose.
we did some good progress here today. Like, we got the base built. We managed to get our stone gear. We unlocked the wings. We're going to make those next time. So now we have to do a raid down on the Flint Beach and then fight the boss next time. I'm still undecided if we're going to stream tomorrow or not. Um, I do have a lot of work that I have to get done. I'm going to try to. Uh, you'll see a notification pop up if we're going to. But we're also going to go uh, over to Twitch and do some streaming over there. I haven't had the opportunity to go over on Twitch in quite a while. So that is one thing I am wanting to get back to. Um, however, we have come to the end of the stream. There's been... I appreciate everybody stopping out. It's been, uh, Small Ends has been doing really well on the channel. I'm hoping to continue it. Um, I will call this episode one and then we'll continue from here and hopefully be able to, uh, do some more for season two. Um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what it does overnight. Hopefully, uh, yeah, everybody's having a good time. If uh, you're enjoying the content, consider going and checking out some of the other content. Share out some of your favorite likes and subs are always appreciated. We're getting very close to that 500 goal. I really, really do appreciate all the new subs. If you're watching back to this point, you are awesome. And uh, I will see everybody next time. But until then, take care of yourself. Take care of your little ones. Stay healthy out there. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everybody.